Hello everyone, my name is John. Today, I will tell you how to set up uploading data from FormKeep to Gmail. This is necessary to automatically transfer new data from FormKeep to other systems. For example, in Gmail you can set up a notification to yourself when new data is received from FormKeep, or send emails to clients every time new data is added to FormKeep. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Select FormKeep as the data source system. Next you need to select the action Get Data. At this stage, you need to connect your FormKeep account to the Apex Drive system. In this window you can give it a name or just click Continue. When the connected account is displayed in the list, select it and click Continue. Next we see the URL for receiving data, it is to this link that new data will be sent from the FormKeep system. To continue setting up, copy it and go to your personal account FormKeep. Go to the integration section on the webhook tab. Paste the copied link in the Apex Drive system into the appropriate field and click Save Webhooks. Please note that after setup, there will be no test data in our system immediately, because nothing has arrived at the new URL yet. Therefore, we need to generate data by executing an event, such as filling out a form. After the data has been generated, we return to the Apex Drive system and continue configuration. At this stage you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so just click continue. Next we see the test data that was just generated, if there is no data at this stage, try following the steps described earlier, if everything suits you, click continue. This completes the configuration of the FormKeep data source successfully. Now you need to move on to setting up data reception. Select Gmail as the data receiving system. Next you need to select the send email action. At this stage, you need to connect your Gmail account to the Apex Drive service. Enter your username and password. Give your permission to Apex Drive to work with your account. When the connected account appears in the list, select it and click Continue. Next you need to fill in the fields with variables from Form Keep. In order to assign a variable, click on the field in which you need to transfer data and select the required variable from the drop-down list. Please note that you can not only add variables, but also enter values manually. To go to the next line press enter. When all the necessary data is assigned, click Edit and Continue. At this stage, we see the test data that will be sent to Gmail. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to Gmail. Go to your Gmail account and check the result. If you are satisfied with everything, return to the Apex Drive service and continue setting up. At this point, the data reception setup has been successfully completed now you need to enable auto-update. Select the communication activation interval, for example, once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.